Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, <clears throat> I've known this story for a week. I have not reported it because just no credible sources. All right. But you remember when John Kerry, the United States Secretary of State, when it was reported that he had a bicycle accident while riding, he had been meeting with the Iranians on their nuke deal and was supposedly out riding his bike when he crashed in the French Alps and broke his femur bone, broke his leg. And that was the report. Three days later, Rumors began to surface that he was actually shot in a uh, shootout, in an assassination attempt on his life. Uh, I saw those reports. I saw those rumors. They were not strong enough or, you know, I just couldn't, credible enough to even report on them. Again, I heard it, heard it several more times. Some of you even sent me uh, information about it, but none of it was from major news sources, so I just continue to let it lay. But today I must talk about it. There may, where there's smoke, there may be fire. The Jerusalem Post is reporting this morning. I want to thank Timothy Duke for sending this report to me. Also, Michael Benghazi about three or four days ago. Uh, Iranian news sites all over Iran have erupted in rumors that Secretary of State John F. Kerry was hurt in an ISIS assassination attempt, that it was ISIS that tried to kill him. According to Iranian media, and the Jerusalem Post says, uh, there has been a lot of conspiracy theories uh, in the past, but this one, this story may actually be true. And it is that the Iranian media is saying yesterday, June the 10th, 2015, with an unsubstantiated rumor that U.S. Secretary of State John F. Kerry was not injured uh, by a bicycle fall in Switzerland or in the French Alps, but rather that he was a target of an assassination attempt while meeting with ISIS terrorists. Now, the Iranian media has been known to report conspiracy theories in the past, but this one may not be a rumor. Um, the latest Iranian reports were first published by Nasim News Agency. Subsequently, they were picked up by dozens of other Iranian news sites and was on some American news websites. Now, the source of this whole story comes from a Russian foreign intelligence service that's reporting what originally had happened and that John Kerry was secretly meeting with leaders from ISIS on Sunday and the, and the meeting eventually led to an armed confrontation as there was an attempt to assassinate the United States Secretary of State. John Kerry apparently was shot in the leg. Now, not only was that happened, but two other people were shot according to this report, and one of them died from the uh, uh, confrontation. So the story of John Kerry breaking his femur bone in a bicycle accident in Switzerland may have been a cover, uh, a, the cover for the State Department from what really was taking place. So this, this report has been out there now for about five or six days by a Russian foreign intelligence agency. It's been picked up by several Iranian websites and several other uh, US bloggers. But the Jerusalem Post today is saying, this thing may have more teeth to it. This story might actually have more teeth to it than what any of us really want to realize. So I don't know, but obviously, um, Hard to break your femur bone in a bike when you're riding a bicycle. It's not that it's impossible, but uh, do we really know what took place? We know that the United States was in Switzerland and that John Kerry was meeting with Iranian diplomats about the Iran nuke deal. Was he also having a secret meeting with ISIS leaders? Was he shot or was this simply a bike accident. We'll continue to keep an eye on it, but since the Jerusalem Post has 
put the story out there as a possibility, I feel led to go ahead and say we will continue to monitor it and watch and see just what does develop. And will any major United States news agencies like the Drudge Report and others, will any of them begin to take a peek at the story? We'll see. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks, because it is getting very, very ugly and very intense on the world stage. Time is running out.